What's up guys? I am here in San Jose, Costa Rica, the capital of this Central American nation. Today we are going to head to the Central Market in the city center of San Jose, a city of about 300,000, 400,000 people. It's really busy, it's really lively. I can't wait to show you guys the amazing fruits, vegetables, and foods that we will find in the market. And I would can't wait to show you especially what life is like here in San Jose, Costa Rica. Vamos. Before heading into the market, I will say that this is the busiest city of 300,000 people I have ever seen in my entire life. I mean, you have people over here, you have masses and masses of people. This central area is called the shopping district and essentially it's just one big walking street that cuts through the main part of central San Jose. You've got different kinds of restaurants, different bars, especially lots of places to buy both real and fake clothing and just lots of people selling lottery tickets, the Lotaria people. So every like five feet we have a new lottery seller. So they're these guys right here. ¿Qué compras? Lotería? Sí. Sí. Por uh, cuánto cuesta? Dos mil pesos. Dos mil pesos. Okay. Gracias. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So a lottery ticket costs 2,000 pesos, which I thought they used colones here. The, 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 the currency they use is called colones. So it's very strange that he say pesos, but maybe I got it wrong. I don't know. There's nothing left to do but go into the market. The central market of San Jose has been operating since the like late 1800s, says 1880 out front. Central markets are always the lifeblood of a city. I really love coming to the market to see, you know, what they're selling, what the people are eating, you know, how the people do commerce. Super, super important. When you come to a new city, go to the market. Behind me, we have a traditional soda. A soda is essentially like a little bistro, a little local place where you get typically local food um, for a decent price. And so one thing I can say about Costa Rica is that it is actually quite expensive. The average meal price here is somewhere around like $10. Maybe in a soda you could get it for a little cheaper. And uh, getting around is expensive. It's like very comparable to the United States. So one thing to be aware of if you come to Costa Rica. So here's your traditional soda. You've got the menu up here. They've got steak, they've got chicken, they've got chuleta. Oh, that's, uh, that's uh, pork. And then here you can see all the different foods that you have here fried things, we got some chicken, we got some platanos, very important. The food here in Costa Rica is really starch based. There's lots and lots and lots of starches. They'll give you a tortilla with beans, with rice, with plantains. I had that for dinner last night. Incredibly good. Markets like this are always interesting because they always have the best fake stuff. Like you've got like fake transport bag, you got local kind of stuff, you've got some wood stuff. Hola, ¿qué onda? ¿Qué buscan? ¿Qué busca? ¿Qué nada, creo. Gracias. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. What I love about this central market is that first and foremost, beyond all the fake stuff that they sell, it's a food market. So what is Central American food and what is Costa Rican food? It's really like a mix of Native American kind of rice and beans culture with Spanish food, with uh, a lot of fish. So you find a lot of ceviche here um, because they have both the Caribbean coast on the east side and the Pacific coast on the west side. Uh, the best place to really experience the culture is just coming to the market, buying some food, standing or sitting with the locals. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here, which is amazing. A lot of the markets I've been to during the Corona times have been really closed. So, but here, you know, you got people sitting and eating, you got people waiting in line for different stuff. We've got some chicken, got some sausage, they got it all. Amazing. Behind me here, we have uh, an entire place of dried, like I would say, things for your home, also spices for food. They've got flowers, they've got cactus flowers, and more importantly, they have banana leaves. So banana leaves are really, really important here. They use them for their tamales here, but they also use them for other things. 
Perdóname, ¿qué, qué haces con el, con el uh, plantel? Banana leaf. Yeah, ¿Qué haces? Tamales. Esto. So, ¿Solamente? All right, más cascado. Hey. ¿Es, es so, ¿Solamente o, o otras cosas? Y ahí para envolver el huevo, el torta de huevo, comida típica. Uh -huh. Comida para, típica. Para comida típica. Ok, gracias, amigo. So he was saying, he was saying that they only use the banana leaves for tamales or typical food. Sometimes they'll put it on the bottom. They, it's a really good thing. They, they often like use them as to-go bags. So countries like this, I've seen this in Asia. Uh, they use the banana leaves for, uh, for carrying things, and it eliminates a lot of trash that you would typically find in other places. One thing about Central America, Mexico, New Mexico, depending on where you are, is that they are very, very Catholic. So everywhere you go, especially in markets, you find small little figures and sculptures of uh, Jesus stuff, especially Catholic, Mother Mary, all this other stuff here. So it can look pretty fly when you're doing your Jesus stuff. Behind me now is a local pharmacy, which is cool because they also have like products that are like fresh, I would say. So here you have fresh like galangal or some ginger. Here's ginger here. And then here, this is actually aloe vera, which is really good for sunburns or things that are that are wrong with your skin. So it's pretty cool because it's an all it's they'd say it's an alternative. It's an alternative medicine pharmacy. Um, but stuff like that's really, really common um, abroad and really, really common in Asia. So it's cool to see that they're also using it here. And here they have all these oils and woods and fruits, different kinds of things. He was saying, this is something for your house. You keep it in your house. I didn't, I didn't really understand what the, what the guy was telling me, unfortunately. But it is interesting that it's one of the first places I've been in a long time where I can actually talk and ask questions because Spanish is easy. I have to say, this is a really impressive central market. I haven't been to a market that has so much variety in quite a long period of time. They have live rabbits that you can buy for a pet, not to eat. But I'm sure you could eat it too if you really wanted to. But they have a, a lot of food, a lot of stuff going on a lot of people in here and it's incredibly confusing these little alleyways and everything is like literally like one meter wide so it's really i'm already completely lost i have no idea where i've been and where i haven't been which i think is the sign of any good market so now i think it's time to find some food first off there's the sodas as i said but they're more like family sit down kind of restaurants as it seems like you can actually sit in the market and eat I think I'm going for more stand places where I can like, you know, kind of stand or lean while I smash some food into my mouth, which sounds very exciting. Ooh. So we got to find one of those. Okay, una pregunta. Uh, ¿Puedo probar tres, o tres frutas que es uh, local para, para aquí? Solamente en Costa Rica. Sí, okay, solamente en Costa Rica. Yes. Aquí lo que hay de la especialmente en el barrigón. Sí, esto es de aquí, de Costa Rica. Este es de Campoas. Campoas. Guanábana, que es de Guapires. Guanábana. Este es de Guanábana. Guanábana. O Sour Sap. Ok, Sour Sap. ¿Es la misma? Este no. es la misma, sí. Este ya la voy a compartir. ¿Esa papaya? Papaya. Ok. ¿Noni? Eso es Noni. ¿Qué es eso? Medicina. Es medicina. Aquí se llama Viagra. Viagra es pobre. Ok. Porque sirve para. Las defensas y para... Ok, ok. Eh, ¿Qué más? ¿Qué es eso? Ese es maracuyá. Marac ok, maracuyá. Oh. El amor aquí es ya eso es... Ese es de, de acá al lado de Cartago. Ok. Mora se llama. Mora. Ok. Perfecto. Llegó lo bueno. Now I'm sitting at a typical soda, which is like a little place. We've got the kitchen there, some drinks, some people eating. We've got it all here. So I bought my fruit. We've got three fruits to try. We've got mora, which they're calling blackberries, but they're they're not black and they're not like the blackberries I've seen before. We've got guanabana, which is uh, soursop, which you can find in Asia a lot. One of my favorite fruits, but I've never tried the Central American version. And we've got this one, which is called a star fruit. 
the name I forget. For my main dish, I ordered uh, casado con chuleta. Chuleta is like a fried pork chop, super typical, and casado actually means like married man, and it's just a plate with a bunch of different stuff on it. Uh, it's kind of like the go-to thing to eat at the sodas here. Uh, it's about six dollars, so not cheap, but um, I guess kind of cheap, it just depends. And I got a drink called a mozote, which I have no idea what it is. Oh, mozote? Mozote. No idea what it is. It's something a bit viscous. Oh my god, that is so strange. I have no idea what that is. It's like thick, a bit syrupy. It's not sweet. It's very much like... I have no idea what that is. I have to ask. I have to ask as well. That is one of the weirdest things I've drank in a really, really long time. I've learned something. So, mosote. This drink is what they're calling a pan-tropical shrub, which they use the bark to create a drink that is good for gastritis. So, if you're having stomach troubles when you're in Costa Rica, get yourself a mosote. I have to say, it's not very delicious. It's very neutral flavored. It kind of tastes like bark. I understand now. I understand. Very much looking forward to my uh, to my meal. Okay. It's time to try the traditional casado con chuleta. So chuleta is this thing we've got here. This is just like a uh, pork chop, fried with onions. Super simple. Let's uh, let's give it a go. I mean, how could that really be bad? Delicious. It's a pork chop grilled with onions. Really hard to go wrong. We've got a little salt and pepper on the outside. Keep it really simple. But the cool thing is you can taste really like the pan, you know? It cooks like all of these onions. I'm sure they cook all the meat in there. Really, really tasty. So, brings us on to our next thing, which is this. The... The casado. So, casado meaning married man, you know, big guy, likes to eat a lot. So this is just a carb bomb. We've got black beans, we've got spaghetti for some reason, we've got rice, we've got some squash or potatoes, we've got some platanos, plantains, we've got two tortilla chips, and then we have a little side salad in case we were feeling not carbo-loaded yet. I have to say the food in this country so far, super heavy, super big portions, and uh, really, really, uh, yeah, I can see why I can see why they may or may not have an obesity problem here. Mm. If you've never had a plantain, they're like a banana, but they're more starchy. They're kind of sweet, they, and they fry them quite often. And sometimes they double fry them into something called tostones, where they make like a cracker out of it. These ones are just deep fried. Really rich flavor, really like sweet, but salty. Like honestly, one of the best things you can have like anywhere. It's really, really good. All right, I'll try a few, a few more things for you. I'm most curious about the, uh, the pasta situation that we've got going on here. I don't think, uh, they have spaghetti on the menu. It's, it's not like, I don't know, let's give it a shot. So it's really overcooked, like with no texture. It tastes like it's, as the sauce is almost like salsa. Oh, it's really weird. That's one of the weirder things I've tried in a while. We got some potato. Mm. Oh. That's a good one, they're creamy and rich. Really cooked down well. Super, super nice. All right, I'm gonna try the beans and rice, and then I'll tell you about some fruit. Beans and rice. Mm. Yeah, beans are always good here. Super, super tasty. Rice is, uh, you know, it's rice. So, last thing I can say about the casado, super good, fair price, cool spot, locals. Gotta come here and try it. Gracias. Hasta luego. Gracias. Ciao. The people in this country so far have been so, so nice. Some man just touched my stomach. I don't know how I feel about it, but it happened. So now I'm gonna find a bench, we're gonna try some fruit, and we're gonna end our day one experience in Costa Rica. Found a bench. So, fruit number one, fruta numero uno. We have guanabana, or also known as the sour sop. One of my favorite fruits. It's like a combination between like a pear, it's kind of floral, and also kind of like a 
It's like a melon, melon pear, super, super tasty. Um, so let's give it, I've never had it just like a straight huge chunk. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. The guanabana is super, super, that one's actually more sour and like the juice is just amazing. It just like explodes with juice. It's like one of the best fruits. If you have a cold, like in a smoothie, I don't think you can really get any better than that. Absolutely delicious. Don't eat the seeds. The seeds are toxic, apparently. I mean, they're pretty hard to miss because they're huge and black. Just like, uh, just like this. But don't eat them. They are toxic. Fruit number two is called carambola. Star fruit. I don't think I've ever had a real star fruit, and I, and I was under the impression that they were green. So, we're learning new things together. It's very floral smelling. First and foremost, the star fruit is sour. It has a very fruity flavor. Kind of like kind of like an orange. It's very citrusy because it has I think so much acid in it. But um yeah, in general, another good fruit. Not my favorite one, but pretty good. The last fruit we've got is called mora. Mora. Uh they're calling them blackberries. They kind of look similar if you guys can see them through the bag. Very juicy. You just scooped it in there. I'm just gonna reach in there. I'm gonna definitely stain my fingers for the day. And uh, pull one out. There we go. We got a beautiful little mora. You guys can see. I guess it is kind of like a blackberry. Oh. Ooh. Doesn't taste like a blackberry. Very sour, very uh, bitter at the end. They got the crunchy seeds in the center. Interesting. I've never had a berry like that for sure. I think that's gonna do it for day one in San Jose, Costa Rica. If you guys like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Notifications mean a lot. And if you're interested in Costa Rica, stay tuned. We've got a lot more. And uh, we're probably gonna go to many other Central American countries. Adios, hasta luego.